Eric Ed Holmes picked a player from every team, all 32 teams in the NFL that are in the crosshairs. These are guys who are heavily scrutinized heading into the 2012 season. And Eric, when you made up your list of players in the AFC South, you said you didn't want to focus completely on quarterbacks. So let's start with a quarterback in Houston. Might as well, right? And it's got to be Matt Schaub from the division winning te uh, Texans. And they were obviously a great team last year. That sometimes lacked at the quarterback position because of Schaub's injury. I think he enters this season, which is a contract year for him, with a lot of questions about whether he truly is an elite player and whether he can take them to the next level. They've had some uh, player deletions on defense, lost their left tackle. So it's going to be important for Schaub to have a big season. In Tennessee, there's a quarterback competition going on there, but you think the player in the crosshairs for the Titans is in the backfield. I think that's one of the reasons why they've got to have strong play out of Chris Johnson is because they don't know who their quarterback is going to be throughout the duration of the season. But they paid Chris Johnson a lot of money. They gave him a big contract that rivals only Adrian Peterson at that position. And Chris Johnson's got to be the explosive player he was earlier in his career. Not like last season when they survived him being just okay. Jacksonville Jaguars moved up a couple of spots in the first round to draft wide receiver in Justin Blackman. You could argue that they did it completely for their player who's in the crosshairs. Right. They moved up last year for Blaine Gabbard, moved all the way up to the top 10 picks and, and got a guy who was thrown into the fire a little bit too early, obviously had to go uh, face some of the Wolves last season. And it seems like everybody's ready to get rid of this guy already after one year in the pros with a full offseason, a better receiving core. Let's see what Gabbard can do in a new offense in year two. And speaking of rookie quarterbacks, the Colts drafted a rookie quarterback who we've heard about a little bit. But you're talking about their first round pick from last year in the crosshairs. Right. It would have been easy to pick Andrew Luck. I mean, obviously he's, he's already in the crosshairs has been for months. We've known the Colts have been interested in his services before they even drafted him. But to me, Anthony Costanza, the left tackle, who struggled for the most part as a rookie, has got to do his job. Not only protecting the blind side for luck, but also being a big run uh, blocker as well. We'll have to see. He came out of Boston College with a, with a pretty good pedigree, but he also comes in a year or two with some questions. Those are the players in the crosshairs in the AFC South. Eric Edholm has a player from all 32 teams. Just check him out at ProFootballWeekly.com.